Okay, sorry for the date. Uh, I have issue with some link issue, so fine. Uh, actually, we are supposed some other people needs to join. Uh, we'll ask our admin. So we have 65 people, they should join. Okay, I will quickly start with that. So uh, I think some other people also will join. Maybe they are uh, confused with the link or something. Okay, mm, why? Because uh, some 60 people joined uh, overall. Fine. Mm, so, uh, mm, okay. First, I will explain uh, quickly uh, for uh, 10 minutes what is this uh, concept and that. after that, uh, we will continue with our HTML. Okay. Okay, mm, so uh, so see uh, our contents. Th these are all the contents. This is what we are going to discuss. So, so multiple times I have shown you people, but but still I want to show again. So uh, see here web technologies. Here uh, I will discuss about ASP.NET. So ASP in that ASP.NET uh, MVC Web API .NET Core uh, and uh, some other features of the uh, this one like you know ADW.NET related and also Entity Framework okay all these things we will discuss okay so uh, and coming to here see like html basics so basically mm, my recommendation for you people like see if we have any ui technologies batch so what is that ui i i don't know how many of you are uh, going for this ui technologies batch or something or uh, so i i when we are in c sharp batch i informed you guys to join that ui technologies uh class right the same way so uh, like uh, so i will tell you so if you are opted for full stack then what will happen so uh, you will get all these things if you are opted for dot and full stack you'll get all these things okay so uh, c sharp is done here actually so if someone is not done with c sharp if we have any c sharp batches going on uh, you can join there or uh, if you you can wait for uh, one week one more week, then my C sharp batch at seven thirty to nine will start. So you can join there. Uh, if someone was missing, someone missed, that. and the next web technologies I will take care. Okay, and so this is what our class. Uh, the second one. So these two classes, if someone uh, from this thirty five or sixty people or uh, whatever the count, if they missed or they did not join till now, if they are opted for full stack, then please join immediately. Okay. Okay, anyone did not join, so I I told I told you guys multiple times, like you know, uh, to join there, right? So anyone are still they opted for full stack, but they did not want to uh, SQL or UI technology. Can you people raise your hands, sir? Why you are telling everything, sir? Uh, because it's my responsibility for you guys, you know. Uh, you so maybe uh, lack of awareness or something, you people may confuse, and after that. Uh, uh, I don't want you people to struggle. Okay. 
ओके कृष्णा सो दो इफ यू आर आप्टेड फॉर फुल स्टैक देन वाट यू वु कृष्णा सो इफ यू हेव एनी न्यू बैचेस फॉर यूर टेक्नोलॉजी फॉर डाटा बेस सो यू यू कैन जॉन दम ओके यू कैन कंटिन्यू अवर एम बी सी आलो पैरल नो इश्यूज ओके सो हियर इन यूर टेक्नोलॉजी दे विच एस टी एल जावा स्क्रिप्ट सी एस एस बूट स्टॉप जे क्वेरी एंग्लर विथ टाइप स्क्रिप्ट ओके दे विल टीच एवरी थिंग हियर ओके एंड सो सी मै आर्डर फॉर यू गैस इज सी सेशन वन शी शर्फ कंप्लीटेड सेशन टू आर थ्री इफ वी हेव एनी थिंग पीपल कैन जॉन देर सेशन फोर नव वी आर डूइंग मै सजेशन फॉर यू गैस सो वन यू आर डन विथ द सेशन फोर session 4 then keep your resume uh, keep your resume and then try for uh, try going for uh, the new interviews like you can keep your resume somewhere uh, like uh, in naukri or somewhere and then and then so if you have chance to join uh, uh, other classes then you can join this angular one okay so angular nowadays angular is required but angular is not mandatory mb asp dot net mbc is enough for, uh, for people that's what i feel okay so uh, i got it okay that's it so uh, this is what and uh, this is what uh, this is what our action plan for next uh, couple of days so now this is done and uh, so so because you people are done with the html classes in ui technologies so i will uh, this is not required but still uh, i want to give some some mean some uh, html basics I, i am teaching here so i will teach some html basics after that i will teach this web applications asp.net introduction to mvc web api edivo.net entity framework dotnet core and real time project this is what we are going to discuss okay okay got it so uh, this is what our action plan for uh, next few days okay so now tell me anyone have any questions here in anything okay if you can raise your hand or you can message in the chat uh it will take two months baskar two months or 10 15 days plus or minus so see uh sometimes baskar when you are going with the subject and all so initially you will so uh, what i suggest uh, personally uh, like you know uh, see people people if someone is telling like uh, we'll complete in one 10 days or 15 days or something so they they don't teach anything properly and they don't teach anything in real time or something so if you want to learn something like you want if you want to learn properly you definitely needs needs to spend some more time here okay then you will become perfect otherwise what will happen so you know you will complete the course but you don't learn anything okay maybe 10 days or 15 days okay plus or minus but uh, see i i don't i never waste any of your time trust me so i will teach each and every concept in real time so uh, you never feel bored for any class i can promise you for that okay got it so uh monday to saturday divya but tomorrow we have holiday due to this Ram ramzan uh, just give me a second i'm getting on here
Okay. Uh, yeah. So uh, due to Ramjan, tomorrow is holiday. Okay. So no class for tomorrow. Yeah, Monday to Saturday. Rest web, web AP also is there, right? Okay. So now I'm moving. Okay. I'm moving towards the uh, rest of HTML part. Okay. So first I will, uh, so first we'll go to that HTML and uh, I, I will teach, uh, I mean, whatever we have completed till now, I will explain one more time. And after that, we'll go for that, uh, I mean, um, touch topics. And uh, so Monday, mostly we'll go with most of HTML parts and all. Definitely, Sapnil, uh, you will came to know in coming sessions. So you will have fun with all those things. You uh, those MVC, spirit, and everything will entertain you. So see, uh, what I will, what I can tell. So initially, when you are learning C sharp, you will feel like C sharp is the better one compared to anything else. Uh, when you are learning uh, .NET. Uh, uh, a MVC, then what you will feel like ASP.NET, they will feel ASP.NET is better than uh, C sharp. And when you learn MVC, MVC is better than ASP.NET. When you learn Web API, you will feel like that. Trust me, when you learn ADV.NET, ADV.NET is better than anything. And if you learn entity framework, you will feel like that. That's what uh, that's what you will feel. So, anyway, so we'll see all of them. Okay. So now, where are we? We done up to frame tag, right? So uh, what we left with? So now first thing. So um, so HTML. HTML is a hypertext. So I'm just so we are all done with this, but still. Resume building. Um, see. I maybe I mean I can suggest you something, but I cannot uh, help on them. But you know, so see if you have any questions on .NET, you people can ask me. See uh, Tuesday, I will share my number. Uh, see uh, some people they uh, maybe link problem and all, so all will be solved by Tuesday. Uh, like uh, the new people or some people, uh, like you know, uh, they are not aware like the link got changed or something. By Tuesday or something, everyone will join. So I will share my personal number and I will create one more uh, WhatsApp group and I will delete the existing group. Uh, and uh, so that what will happen? Uh, so that will be the best thing for <laughs> anyone. So um, if people can, if people can, you know, uh, I, I will definitely help you guys for that. So uh, you, I will share my personal number also. So you people can practice everything. And if you have any questions or queries, uh, you just, you can message me with the screenshot. I will definitely help you guys for that. Um, so if something is urgent or something, just ping me like, uh, sir, uh, can I talk with you something? Then either I will, if I'm free, I will ask you to call that time or else I will suggest some time to call me. Okay. Uh, so why, because I'm also working somewhere. Okay. So I'm also working somewhere. So uh, it will be difficult for me, uh, you know, uh, for supporting. But uh, I can help you guys from nine um, morning eleven to uh, evening, uh, uh, like you know, seven thirty. But after seven thirty, if you message me also, I don't reply. Seven thirty eight max to max. That's it. Okay. Okay, so so this is what uh, okay. So now I will continue with my HTML. So okay, hi, hi HTML hypertext markup language. So sir, why you are explaining one more time? So uh, so this is like just revision kind of thing. So uh, uh, so okay. So hypertext markup language. Uh, like you know, uh, HTML used to build the static websites, so which are uh, available in internet. Okay, so by using uh, HTML, we can build the static uh, websites. Okay, so uh, HTML is tag oriented language. What is tag means this one starting point and ending point will be there for the HTML tags. So example for that is HTML starting point and this HTML is the ending point. 
and by the way this this is my book only i have written this book okay uh, so i i'm a microsoft certified dotnet developer and also i have a certification in microsoft and azure related uh, concepts Uh, so uh, we have two types of tags available in HTML. One is container tag and one is non-container tag. Container tag. Container tag means which consists of uh, opening and closing element. So example for that HTML, HTML, body, body. Non-container tag. Non-container tag means there will be no specific ending element, but they are self, they, they, they used to contain the self-ending. Okay, like this. BR slash and uh, that uh, greater than symbol okay so basically html is error free uh, html is not a case sensitive uh, by mistake typo mistake this one html is not case sensitive language we can write html program in notepad or any html so how what we need to do we always need to save our html program with the dot html or dot html ex HTML extension uh, then what will happen we can see the output in our browser okay got it structure of html so basically html head tag head tag inside head we can write the script tag body tag and html closing okay so this is what so basically we always need to write all the code uh, whatever related to our website we need to write in between body tag okay okay mm, so and uh, different tags available in html basic tag link tag table tag frame tag form tag multimedia tag multimedia it's not not required for us but okay leave it okay basic tag sir what is basic sir for example if you want to insert a background demo is if you want to insert a background color to the web, website if you want to add some colors to our font and all then we will go for basic tags link tag link tags means we have an example like anchor tag so if you want to redirect from one web page to another web page by using some link so uh, like so you know in facebook and all uh, if you go to the facebook website so uh see uh, there will be some more so there will be some privacy links and all so if you click on it uh, automatically it will it will it will redirect to that uh, particular place see create a page so then what will happen if you click on it then it will redirect to create a page yes or no uh, so see uh, if you click on this one, these, these are all what hyperlinks only. So they 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 have used what uh, anchor tags only there. Okay. So this is what uh, uh, this is what our uh, link tags. Okay. Got it. Uh, then table tags. So for example, if you want to display some information in the form of table tag, then we are going for a concept called table tag. So for every table, uh, we need to we can give some border for the table okay and we, uh, every table consists of two elements one is row and column so what is row uh, what is column so basically uh, basically uh, a row in the uh, table row uh, we can we used to represent by using tr inside tr we always will have table data that is what called a td okay that is what called as a td so uh, this is what uh, our uh, html related and now uh, now the next one is frame tags um, so uh, we have seen a couple of examples for table tags also right like this okay next one is frame tags so basically we have two types of frame, frames available one is row frame set and column frame set if you want to divide the uh, web page or website into two parts uh, then uh, we are going for a concept called frame tags so one is row frame set and one is column frame set if you are working with row frame set you need to keep like that and you need to give the percentage and if you are working with column frame frame set you need to keep cols here then that that will divide our website okay got it so now people tell me any questions i will pause here for two minutes so i know some people are new so maybe uh just uh wait for uh, one week then uh you will uh adapt it towards my teaching So Anusha, Asha, Baskar, Guy three. So that guy three, this guy three, same, okay. Chandrasekhar, Koteshwar Rao, Divyani, Divya, Garima, Geeta, 
Krishna, you are from my C sharp also, right? Nag Babu, Nagina. So are you guys getting it? That's what I'm asking. Om Sindh. Uh, Ramya Yam. Yes, you are new. Ritika. Santosh. Srujana. Yeah, Srujana also. Swapnil, Durga, Lakshmi, Usha. Yes. So whatever I mentioned the names, are you guys able to understand? Are you clear with everything for now, up to now? No, see here, this one, this is landing. So frame set and we need to end the frame set. But frame name, we don't need anything. OK. <clears throat> then, uh, OK, I hope you guys don't have any questions. I'm moving to next topic. Mm. The next one is list tags. So basically, list tag is two types. One is order list and unordered list. OK, so I will just uh, so I will just show you guys what is this order list and unordered list. So what is the syntax for that? So see, now, for example, uh, if we go with this order list, then what will happen like, it will display the data in number format or alphabetic format or something like, okay. An order list means, so, uh, you know, it, it will display in an order format, okay. So I will just uh, like square dots kind of, okay. I will just uh, show the example for now, then you will understand. Hmm. Okay, where is this HTML? HP.net. Okay, uh, order list. First, we'll go to the program. Open with a notepad. Okay, so see. So here what we kept, OL. OL means order list, type equal to say. So here, inside that, we have added couple of lists. LA item, LA item, LA item, LA item. Okay. So uh, first list we kept C, C++, Java, .NET. So the output will look like, see, we did not give any numbering or alphabets or something, but still we are getting the order because of that order list feature. Okay, similarly, I will show the an order list now. Here is this an order list, this one. I'll just show the code now. See, so here what we kept an order list uh, type equal to square. So here also we are adding list, list, list. But see, there is no difference. Okay, but uh, we, we can see now this will be in different form. See, we got it with what? The dots or square or something. Okay, uh, people got it now. So this is what uh, difference between order list and an order list. Okay, uh, one second. First, what we will do, okay, so first we'll give the theory and after that, uh, uh, this one. So Tuesday, when once we create our group now, so I will share uh, uh, this book, okay? Complete ASP.NET, I will share. Once it is done, I will share MVC. Once that is done, I, uh, uh, in, in, in MVC book only, I have, uh, I kept uh, web API and, uh, uh, you know, uh, web API and uh, .NET Core also in that book. I, I will share that also with you guys. Okay, so now, where are we now? Okay, just note down uh, this one. List tags. Only this one and keep an heading and we'll write that exam. Yeah. 
see uh, i guess see now people are joining slowly maybe not, they are not aware of link or something so please join uh, with uh, a newly updated link only and one more thing so every day every day the class will start by six o'clock sharp okay maybe six to six three minutes so we'll i always join like that so i request you guys to uh, join uh, i mean little early uh, why because i have one more class at 7 30 so i need so that is a hybrid class like offline and online so due to that you know i need to go to our narashati campus uh so because if i if i finished it at six o'clock uh, sorry seven o'clock sharp then only i can reach there by 7 30 okay so uh, so that is so I, I i i mean personally i will deal only two classes here one is uh, 67 and 739 so 732 9 um, uh, one full stack batch is going to complete by this next friday so next friday we are going to complete uh, uh, they completed c sharp and they completed mvc they completed asp.net they completed uh, they are going to complete web api today uh, uh, monday onwards they, we are we are going to start uh, .NET core there so after that uh, we are going to finish that batch so maybe one more week. Uh, so after that, uh, uh, at the same timing slot, 7.30 to 9, we are going to start our C sharp. Okay, so can I move to the program? Okay, note down this order list. Okay, uh, can I move to the next one? Another list program. Yeah, so just note down this another list.
Okay, so just note down, done with this. Can I move to next topic? Okay, we have seen both the output, right? Sir, Anil and Naresh, you wrote it in body or head. So that is in body only. So I'm actually, I'm supposed to follow all these things. HTML. HTML. Here. It's really head. It's really head. Here, you need to write body. Hmm. Okay. So, now, where is this one? Another list. So, did you found any difference here in output, Manikanta? No, right? Anyway, STEM is error free language. That's the reason I kept like that. But usually, we need to like write like that only. Like how we wrote here, we always need to write like that only. We need to follow the syntaxes. Okay, so I'm moving to next one. Next one is at what form types, right? Mm. So form tags. Basically, form tag is one of the most important tag. Why? Because so form tag. So in real time, uh, in ASP.NET, we will use the form tags only. Okay. So basically, uh, basically. You know uh, the text boxes, button related, or uh, anything anything related to our uh, web form or web page. Uh, then uh, we will design everything in our uh, form tag only. So uh, here, like so, see, uh, like uh, input type, method name, any URL. If you want redirection related, if you want button, if you want a text box, if you want a radio button, if you want a check box, if you want something, something, anything, then we need to write everything in our inside the form tag or body tag only. Okay. So that's what our form tag. Uh, I will explain. I will explain. So anyway, all ASP.NET programs, whatever we are going to discuss, they are all form tags only. Okay. So, you know, that's what I will show you guys. So see the form tags tells the browser where the form starts and where the forms end. So this is encoded between what? FOMV form, form uh, closing of form. We can include table images along with the fields. Okay. The actions related, method related. A text box related button related all the kind of uh, things uh, we can uh, keep inside a form tag okay this is what form tag and i have i have i have i have written so i have written uh, some piece of code here see input type equal so here i kept form tag and i'm closing my form tag here input type equal to text and i kept some id here input type equal to button i kept some value equal to submit then what will happen i i will get a, one text box and one button here okay this is what form tag so before that just note down this theory up to here then i will just show that example
Okay, so I'm moving to the program. Is the program. Okay, so and and finally, the last one is multimedia tags. So this is like if you are working with any video, sound, picture related, then we will use this multimedia tag, but that is not required for us. And finally, we reached our place, ASP.NET. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, I'll just give uh, uh, so. Okay, I will just give the, uh, you know, I will just show how we, how we can open under, but Monday uh, I will uh, show that again. For now, I will just uh, open Visual Studio and how to create ASP data project. Up to that one, I will, I will tell. Anyway, uh, so um, see how to open. Step one, launch the Visual Studio. Okay, create a new project. Here, just search for, okay. So after that, okay. So like this. Now people tell me, what is our language? Yes. Tell me, Shishar, what is the platform? 
here we are using Windows. Yes or no? So everyone log in with Windows only or uh, Mac OS or uh, iOS, Linux or something. Windows, okay? Now project type. See, ASP.NET exclusively built for what? Web applications. What is that? Web applications. Okay, so this is what. So see, uh, you people don't need to write now. I will I will give uh, step, steps to create ASP.NET and uh, that time I will teach again. Okay, now, now if you need to scroll down a little bit, down, down, little down. And as there it is, ASP.NET web application within the bracket .NET framework. We people need to select only this one. Okay, ASP.NET web application within the bracket .NET framework. Only this one we need to select. Now select that one. Okay. After that. After that, oh. click on next. Now, here you can give any name like your name, my name, Naresh IT, XYZ, ABCD, whatever the name you want to give, you can give here. And here, the location where you want to save your project. Okay. So, we need to give some specific path where we can, where we need to save our project. Okay, if you want to create a new folder, you can create by the RLs by default, it will take this folder path. Okay, the solution name, project name must be same. Okay, so change if you don't change anything by default, it will give this name. Now click on create. Now, so here we can select anything here empty web forms, MVC, web baby, or something. I recommend click on empty and click on select web forms here. So this is how the project will be created. Okay. This is how the project will be created. So based upon our requirement, we can write uh, any code for that. So in our Monday class, I will explain everything uh, like, you know, uh, what, how to work with that and how, what are different windows available in our ASP.NET. So everything I will explain. So like this, I have given in our book also, I have given all the steps and all. But uh, I will explain everything. Once we are done with uh, that, uh, maybe one or two theory classes. After that, we'll go to our, uh, you know, ASP .NET programs. Okay, fine. Any anyone have any questions now? So from Monday, we'll st we'll start with our class by sharp six o'clock. Worst case six three six four. Okay, please join on time. Uh, thanks all for joining. We'll meet tomorrow. Happy weekend and happy Ramjam.